This is The Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. The owner of these full strap penny loafers by Crockett and Jones told me that the shoes looked a little bit more tan than he would have liked, and that on the advertisement they looked a little bit more mahogany, a little bit more amber. And when I looked up the advertisement, sure enough, the, the shoes looked a little bit darker. So in today's video, I'm going to have to mix some dyes together. And uh, it's, it's more of an artistic thing. If you know a little bit about mixing colors, you'll know that when you mix uh, yellow and red, you'll get an orange tone. So that's what I'm going to have to do today. I have some mahogany and some buckskin by Feebings, which is very yellow. So when I mix them together, I think I'll get the right shade. Before going straight into the acetone, some Saphir Reno Matte is a really good idea just to melt off that factory polish or any old wax that the owner might have put on before. I found it it's, it's a little bit uh, gentler than acetone, so overall it works well in conjunction. So that's my first step here. Okay, we're looking good so far. One pair is ready to go and the other one still needs some work, but you can see the, the difference. One pair is a lot lighter and a, a lot more pale. Uh, make sure to use Q-tips or cotton swabs to really get into those fine details and get into those nooks and crannies where the factory dye might be trying to hide from you. Alright, now it's time to mix some leather dye. I'm using Buckskin by Feebings. It's really, really yellow. So it, it, when you put it on leather, it'll literally look like it's yellow. It's pretty bright, even though it looks kind of dark here. But I have to mix it with a red tone. So I do have mahogany, another color by Feebings. And I'm going to use a syringe I found with uh, some children's Tylenol. I'm not going to reuse it, obviously, for, for my baby. But we had an extra lying around. And it's perfect just for adding that bit, uh, the other dye, and uh, controlling it really well. So it's a really good idea. You can also buy... Um, other types of syringes or droplets just to get that uh, that right amount in there so you can mix it perfectly. So I just need to add uh, some mahogany but not a lot and as you see it's already pretty red but now once they mix I got a nice orange tone and uh, after trying it a little bit and going back and forth I think this is the right color from the advertisement from what I saw on the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. When it comes to leather dyes, my only piece of advice is to try all the colors and to make sure it's the shade you want because brown looks different from company to company. Um, from Feebings, it looks uh, kind of a reddish brown, but from Angelus, it looks really, you know, chocolate brown with no red tone. So make sure to experiment and to do some research before you go into colors uh, just to make sure it's the color you want. Now the left loafer has an abrasion on the toe. It's more of a little scratch or a little gash, uh, but it's a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to use some Saphir Renovating Repair Cream, and it has some resins in it just to kind of fill that gap. And I'm going to have to put multiple layers and uh, let it dry and then put more layers, uh, kind of just to build that hole up so it's not too deep. And then I'm going to use sandpaper and kind of sand it down so it's smooth, and then I can apply the mirror shine. If it's taking a while to harden, you can always use a hair dryer and go at it just to harden it quicker so you can get to work and get more done faster. That's what I'm going to do here.
Now, when it comes to sandpaper, the finer the better. Uh, so just find some fine, fine sandpaper and go at it to, just carefully to make sure you remove uh, any abrasive areas so it's all smooth. And when it's done, it'll sound and feel smooth to the touch, and that's exactly where you want to be. Now, the picture that I saw on the internet had a bit of a darker toe, so I'm going to have to do that using dark brown just to give it some shading so it looks, uh, looks exactly how the picture portrayed it. And I'm going to use my finger just to make sure it's applied evenly, and as always, avoid stark lines, blend it so it's dark at the toe and it gets lighter near the top. I think we have a match here. Saphir MDO in mahogany I think it looks like the perfect color so I'm going to use that to uh, add some pigment in and to give it a nice shine. Okay, now it's time for the mirror shine using mahogany wax. And uh, as always, if you need help achieving a mirror shine, I have a very detailed and comprehensive guide on how to do a mirror shine that I just did, and I'll post that link in the description of the video. And uh, I know I can't make any guarantees, but I'm very, very positive that if you can't do a mirror shine, this video is really going to help. So uh, make sure to look for it below. I'm not going to show you the entire mirror shine in this video. Um, but uh, yeah, if you need help, make sure to check that link out below.
So they were a lot more tan than the owner wanted. They were supposed to actually look like this, more amber, more, more browns in them. And this is how they ended up. So overall, I am very happy. And if you need help mixing colors to get uh, the right shade, you can always just Google how to mix colors, like yellow and black make olive, and blue and red make purple. So I uh, hope this helps, and good luck on mixing those colors to get the right shade. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about shining your shoes. Look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford for more. Remember to care for your shoes so that they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. I'll see you next time.